Can bees learn how to communicate with robots? Can robots learn how to interact with bees? Believe it or not, it's by answering these questions that European scientists think they can develop new technologies aimed, among other things, at better protecting the environment. Researchers here build almost every day beehives like no other. Wax panels are installed above a fleet of small robots equipped with sensors. Complex bio-inspired algorithms help these robots to send different physical stimuli to the insects. Researchers then study the reaction of the bees. With the insect-computer connection, we can observe the flow of information much closer and find out how the bees save information, how they communicate it, how they filter it. All that leads to more understanding of insect societies. Scientists at this European research project have programmed the small robots to try and make bees respond to stimuli like vibrations, changes in air flows, and especially variations in temperature. We have electronic parts inside the robots. We are able to warm these under certain temperatures. This is the method we use to warm up the robots. We warm them so that the bees are attracted to these warm points. The next step is to program robots to somehow autonomously mimic the social behaviour learnt during their exchanges with the bees. Scientists basically want robots to develop an autonomous collective swarm intelligence. In temperature fields like the ones prevalent inside beehives, a single honeybee very often does not find the spot on her own where she needs to do the job. But if we have more bees working on the tasks, then they are successful because they work in a community. We try to reproduce in robots this example of collective swarm intelligence. Scientists hope their small robots could one day help protect bees currently under heavy and environmental pressure. They see a future where sensor-equipped tiny robots could live inside beehives and exchange environmental data with the bees, like the eventual presence of pesticides or pollutants in the surrounding environment. Well-being, protection and productivity of bee colonies could greatly improve, say researchers. Let's suppose we have a long period of rain coming up in summer or cold weather, which might mean that bees don't have enough to eat. If we could know that in advance from the robots, we could, for example, regulate the queen to lay fewer eggs and have fewer offspring, so that the offspring that are already there can be taken care of in a better way before there's cannibalism, for example. Similar research is currently underway on fish species. Other than environmental protection, scientists hope their work will have an impact on fishing and livestock management, as well as on agriculture. <laughs>